Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Rvancic. Today we're going to take a look at how you can create virtual field trips using your Promethean board. There's two different ways to do this. You can use Desktop Annotate to go out to a website and then annotate over it, or you can embed the HTML right into your flip chart. If you do choose Desktop Annotate, I'm also going to show you how you can use the camera tool to keep your annotation. Let's take a look at my virtual field trip to Google Moon. Google Moon is a great website that is compiled with all these photos that were taken of the moon to create a really realistic picture of what the moon looks like. So right now I can use the pen as a mouse to click around and zoom in, but if I want to annotate over this, I'm going to go back into Active Inspire. I'm going to click on the desktop annotate button. It looks like this. So here on Desktop Annotate, my toolbar comes on top of the Google Moon screen. So now I can use any of the tools that are available in Active Inspire to write right over the moon. You could bring up the math tools and bring up the ruler. You can use the revealer, you can use handwriting recognition, you can use the highlighter. All the tools are available. If you do decide that you want to keep your annotations, you can save the desktop flip chart. However, it's not saving what's going on behind the desktop flip chart in Google Moon. To save that, I'm actually going to take a camera snapshot of it. Now, I've moved the camera area snapshot right into my toolbar, right here. And when I click on this, it's going to be taking a snapshot of my current page. If this is something I'm going to use often, I might want to put it into my resources. You can also take a field trip to Mars through Google Mars. Another way that you can take a virtual field trip is to actually embed the HTML code from Google Maps right into your flip chart. So I'm going to switch this to a satellite map and I'm going to look up the place I'd like to take a field trip to. Once I get to that location, I'm going to use this link button and I'm going to be copying this HTML right here into my flip chart. As I go back to Active Inspire, I'm going to click on Insert, Link, HTML. And now this creates an interactive browser right in my flip chart. And I can zoom in or move around or zoom in on different parts of this image. If you drag the person to the street view and then you embed the HTML, you'll get the same street view and right inside your Action Inspire window. So similarly, you can see this browser works where I can turn and look up or down right in the street view. While you can't embed the code that you'd find in Google Earth like you can in Google Maps, Google Earth does have a great capacity to zoom in and take virtual tours. So you could put a list of places you'd like to fly to and then have it set up a virtual tour for you. You can also access Google Sky. Google Mars and Google Moon as well. The difference between Google Earth and Google Maps is that Google Earth is a program you need to download onto your computer. Google Maps is a website that you can access from anywhere. Similarly, the same thing about Google Mars in Google Earth or Google Mars in the two-dimensional version as a website. Similarly, you could do a desktop annotate here. And you can see those annotations that I had before have stayed here as well. Similarly, you can use that area snapshot to take a picture of what's on your screen and keep it, even with your annotations. So with using Desktop Annotate over websites or programs like Google Earth, 
using the camera tool to keep your annotations, or embedding HTML right inside Active Inspire, you can create really great virtual field trips. Thanks for watching today's Active Tip. Springboard Media offers a wide range of professional development courses and workshops.